everyone how are you guys doing it's your girl twin d and thank you for stopping by my channel thank you for being here guys thank you for liking sharing subscribing and guys most importantly thank you for listening and understanding and learning about your twin flame journey what it's about what your responsibilities are and just following the journey doing what's right instead of moping around all the time and in this negative energy oh please gotta check ourselves man <laughs> anyways thanks almighty god for bringing us here safe and sound one more day so we can be here with each other let's jump right into your message our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come then we be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive Give us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen sorry guys i just got a picture just flash just flash in my mind's eye because before i was looking up on the queen of pentacles and I'm realizing that this Queen of Pentacles is a very solid creature. One that understands their role. One that who is abundant. Someone who is prosperous. A mother. Someone who is independent. Someone who knows how to make things grow. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, the Queen of Pentacles sounds to me like you're next to the Empress. So with that energy, once you're in that energy, you know that your next step is the Empress. Anyways, I just had to say that. Let's see what these masculines are up to. Let's see what's going on with them. I'm getting the Knight of Swords. Okay, this is a, a lot of things that's going on with them here. Look what I just spoke on, guys. You have the Two of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, no wonder no wonder no wonder i got that message and look where the empress fell right underneath the pentacles the queen of pentacles Your divine masculines here are trying, no, they're not trying to make up their mind. Their mind is already leading them towards their queen of pentacles. Some of you queen of pentacles out there may be mothers. Your divine masculine is sitting in their insecurities. Some of them have fears. Some of them are scared of what people around them may think. Some of them are just battling with insecurities, nothing else. These divine masculines that are in this message here, they're battling with insecurities. There's a fear of letting go of something and holding on. To this abundant person that they are seeing they don't feel good enough they don't feel strong enough some of them don't feel intelligent enough but they're coming out of that energy they're realizing that hey I don't give a shit about what I think or think not about myself. 
I am a good person. I am lovable. I deserve love. Money is not a problem. God will provide. As a matter of fact, this queen of pentacles doesn't even want me for my money. This queen of pentacles is stable. This queen of pentacles is secure. This queen of pentacles knows how to handle themselves. This queen of pentacles knows how to love. This queen of pentacles knows how to take charge and take control of their family, their home. This queen of pentacles is wife material, mother material. So there's nothing for me to worry about. Nothing. So it's like they're weighing their options. But what they're coming to is that they deserve this love that this Queen of Pentacles was offering to them. This is a gift. They've never met anyone like you before. You surprise them. You have them in awe. They know they deserve this gift. And if they don't know, now they know. They deserve this gift. You would not have been meant for each other or made for each other if you didn't deserve each other, Divine Masculines. So your Divine Masculines are going to man up. And move towards you with that offer. Because this abundance, this energy that the Divine Feminine is in, this Queen of Pentacles energy, that's her on her own. And if the Divine Masculine is now realizing that, me, and the Divine Feminine together will achieve more, will achieve abundance, will achieve prosperity because this is a gift from God and what God promises, God always delivers. I'm just hearing that this is a token of love. 818. Abundance, guys. Your divine masculine is, let's say, just putting down the foolishness and getting ready to move forward towards your queen of pentacles, their empress. Thank you very much. Because with these divine masculines, it's their insecurities that has been holding them back. Insecurities and fear. So your divine masculines are being reborn. They're, they're being transformed. They're changing. They want the second chance. They're going to ask you for a second chance. They're going to ask you to give them a chance. They know they refused your offer in the past. And some of them, they continued to refuse your offer over and over. Because what happened with your divine masculines in the past, they had given their cup to others. And the persons they gave it to didn't make use of it. They abused it. They threw it to the side. So now your Divine Masculine is thinking, is this cup also going to be thrown to the wayside? 
so they became closed off. They became closed off. They knew, guys, thank you. They knew that you were a gift from God. See, gift of stability and a gift of love. They knew that that's what they were getting. That's what they were being offered. But they were scared and insecure. And they closed their heart off, refusing to move forward, re refusing to change, refusing to walk away from situations that didn't mean them any good. It's like they were tricked to believe that, hey, we're good together. And these are for those who were in third party situations, relationships, because third party situation can be anything. These are for those masculines who were in relationships. They decided, let's give it another try. So they're giving it another try. But what they didn't realize is that the persons they were giving it another try with, walking away from the divine feminine, giving that situation another try, it's because those people realized that your divine masculine was about to transition into something awesome, into something wonderful. So they're doing all that they can to stop the divine masculine, to keep them in that energy of I'm not good enough. So they pull the divine masculine back in, shower them with foolishness, sex, money. Things they know the masculine is addicted to. just to get the masculine feeling happy again, once again, because they were so insecure that their feelings, their inner feelings, they were codependent on others, showering them, showering them with material things, sex, drugs, money, And once they start to receive that again, they say, see, see, I made the right choice. I made the right choice. I'm happy again. This person has changed. I'm happy again. And as soon as these per third party people saw that your divine masculines were comfortable, they withdrew their love. They withdrew that fake love that they were pouring onto the divine masculines. And the Divine Masculines went back into that energy of what the hell is wrong with me? Am I not good enough? Am I not good enough? 1313. Why is this person treating me this way? Am I not putting out enough? Am I not giving enough? But they realize, hey, I'm very passionate about this person here. This person who is standing in their power. Again, Divine Feminine, you may be a mother. Mother, two ways, guys. You may already have children or you may be pregnant. But they're seeing you as this independent, blossoming, controlling, good control. Good control. You're in control of your finances. You're in control of your home. You're in control of your life. So they're realizing, this person loves me. And I know I'm in love with this person. But why am I so comfortable with being disrespected? Why am I so comfortable with feeling like I'm nobody? internal issues, internal struggles, internal battles that they have to be fighting. Well, your divine masculines are going to be aligning themselves, aligning their energy so they can be one with themselves, so they can 
love themselves so they can learn to stand on their own two feet so they can learn to see that hey i am god's creation i am god's child god loves me i love god god blessed me with someone who loves me but i was running away because i was scared scared that i would mess that situation up scared that they would disappoint me but no longer your divine masculine is walking away from those situations. All those people, all those people they had shared their cups with that turned their back on them. They're coming back for that cup. They're coming back for that cup. They want that second chance. Guys, I cannot lie to you, man. They want that second chance. They're coming back to apologize, like I said. To say I'm sorry, to ask you for that second chance. This is going to be a surprise to you. This is going to be a surprise to you. There's too much love. There's too much abundance in this cup. To let it go to waste. So they're making their plans. And they're heading towards the divine feminine. They are gathering up that little bit of self-esteem that they have left. And they're walking out of those situations that kept them stuck. Best decision these divine masculines have ever made best decision they have ever made so they're headed towards their abundance this blessing from god and they're coming in passionately too they want this love they want to be with you they for those who have been intimate guys they want to be with you again And they know that this feeling that they are having, this passionate feeling that they're having, it's true, it's real, it's a gift, it's like ordained, it's meant to be, it's not fake, it's not in and out, it's not because they want something from me, they're giving me something so I can give them something back. They can't explain it. They can't explain it because this love, this passion that you're feeling is coming from God. They cannot explain it. They're coming in for this reunion, guys. Because they themselves, they're balancing their mind, their body, their soul, listening to their intuition. Now they're listening to their intuition. Because now it's like they pick their balls up, put it back in their pants, and now they're standing tall. Now they're listening to their intuition. All those people, all those places and things that were holding them back. They're not allowing it anymore. They're not allowing it anymore. Your divine masculines are becoming the emperors, just as you have become the empress. They're not allowing defeat anymore. They're seeking justice. They want justice for themselves. Hey, maybe a Libra here. They have balance. They have clarity. They have understanding and they're in control. A lot was revealed to these divine masculines. A lot about you and them. They're looking, thank you, they're looking at the past, present moment, and what the future holds. 
And it's like now they're seeing clearly how things are lining up. They're seeing clearly how things are lining up. What happened before? Why things weren't working out with those people that they decided to give that second try to? Our third, fourth, fifth chance to. Because it wasn't meant to be. And at present, why things are the way they are with you and them. Your divine masculines are being shown signs. They are seeing synchronicities. Their emotions are coming to the surface. Some of them may be crying. Some of them are just, they are just trying to keep it together. Because what they are looking at is, I turned down a gift from God. I turned down a gift from God. They're going to rush in towards you. They're just planning things out. They're putting in the hard work. They don't want things to be like it was in the past between you and them. Divine Feminines, you're focusing on yourself. And this is bringing you closer to union, union with yourself, union with your mind, your body, your soul. Everything's aligning. You are becoming stable. You are trusting in God for your victories. You are trusting in God for your answers. You're not even focused on the Divine Masculine anymore. Because they have their wounds to heal. And they have to do it alone. They have to do it alone. Yes, man. 22-22. Your divine masculines are obsessed with the thought of you. Again, that passion and desire that they're feeling for you, it, it, it's, it's getting deeper and deeper. It's getting deeper and deeper, and that's going to push them to take that leap of faith. That's going to push them to gain clarity and understanding in regards to your connection that's going to force them to become more spiritually tuned because who else are they going to get answers from who else are they going to talk to about the situation that they're facing they can't understand it you've been explaining to them but they didn't believe you they don't understand what you're saying So now they gotta turn to God. Now they gotta ask God for answers. They're gonna, they're gonna get up out of that negative energy. They're gonna work on their wounds. They're gonna fight through things. Twenty three, thirty two. They're reflecting your changes, divine feminine. Expect some communication from these divine masculines in regards to some sort of truth. They're realizing that the truth is bigger than they are. It's not just talk that the Divine Feminine was talking. The truth is bigger. It's bigger. It's coming from God. So we have the Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. So that's all stability. We just need to see the Ace of Cups now. A brand new beginning in every aspect of your life. And that's why they're changing, Divine Feminines. That's why they're changing. You're now passionate about creating a better life for yourself. You know the truth in regards to your situation, you and your Divine Masculine. Knowing that you're to inflame, knowing that there's abundance waiting for you. And you're driven to move forward to that abundance. So is your Divine Masculine. 
this truth, this knowledge that your divine masculine is going to gain, that's going to allow them to put an end to things that weren't serving them, things that were dead in their life. They're going to put it to an end in order to start that brand new beginning with you. You are burning in their heart. You're on their mind. And you're on their eggplant. <laughs> Your divine masculines are fighting that battle. To balance things within. See here? To balance things within. And there you go. The Ace of Pentacles once again. They're working on their independence. They're working on becoming stable, secure. Again, they're seeing their abundance. They're seeing where their abundance lies. They're about to take a journey on a new path. They're about to take a journey on a new path. To build together, to work together. So expect this separation between you and them to end soon because your divine masculines about now as I was saying some of them they're crying they're hurting because they're realizing the mistakes that they made in their lives not only with you divine feminine but those people around them that they gave chances upon chances and all those people ever did was turn against them hurt them They're learning to let go off of things. You are there in their life to show them what's going wrong in their life. As much as they are in your life, Divine Feminine, to show you what you have been doing wrong within yourself. And now that you have healed those, it's time for them to heal theirs. Those are your wounds. And it's time for them to heal theirs. They know that there, are, there, there has been changes in their lives. And those changes started when they met the Divine Feminine. So they know it's like you're responsible. That's why some Divine Masculines blame the Divine Feminine for what has been taking place in their life. Because it's when the Divine Feminine entered their life when things started to really fall apart. Like they can't put it back together. Because with these Divine Masculines, with the Masculines on a whole... Their lives were already falling apart. But they kept holding on to it, holding on to it, giving second tries, third tries, fourth tries, fifth tries. And they just kept getting hurt, kept getting manipulated, kept being used, kept being abused. Some of these of my masculines, they were lied to. Some of them, they don't trust people anymore. For the men, they don't trust women anymore. For women, they don't trust the men anymore. Because of the lies they were fed 28, 28. That's 10, 10, completing a cycle. Because of the lies they were fed, the lies they were led to believe, and now they're finding out truths. And some of them, some of them are, are very, very much in this energy because of the truth that they found out. Because some truths that your masculines are finding out, it's heartbroken. It's heartbreaking, I should say. It's heartbreaking. And Divine Feminine, you wouldn't want to be going through what they're going through right now. As Divine Feminines, we are learning to not give too much. We are learning to withdraw and learn to keep for ourselves because we have to be in this energy and the Empress energy. That's our role. Divine Masculines, they have to learn to be strong. They have to learn to be decisive. They have to learn to take action when necessary. They have to be the emperors.
So most of the things they are going through, it's very difficult. It's very difficult for them because they have to be strong. And to become strong, you have to be broken down. You have to be broken down. So they are going through heartache and pain. No wonder they had insecurity issues. But if they just focus on the positive, thank you. If they just focus on the positive instead of the negative, they will clearly see the gifts that are coming to them. And the clarity that they are getting, how it leads to them being decisive so they can get rid of what's not necessary people emotions places things so that now they can give to the divine feminine as the divine feminine was given to them your divine masculines are taking care of their inner childhood wounds your divine masculines are now learning to give to themselves. They're learning to give to themselves. And once they're in that energy, they'll truly see the ones who were truly giving to them. And the ones that were only giving, thank you. Because they wanted something back. Your Divine Masculines are ready to seek out something new, ready to go on a brand new venture. They have been, they have been inspired. They're breaking free from that insecurity. Expect communication from your Divine Masculines. There's going to be a lot of communication between you and your Divine Masculine. Yeah, because the dudes are evolving, the dudes are changing. They're becoming one. They're healing. They're learning what happiness is, what true love is, where to find true love, which is inside. Once they have achieved this level of happiness, they're going to be able to see things more clearly. And then they'll be ready for union, guys for commitment. To be one. For growth. See, then they will be the king of pentacles as much as you are the queen of pentacles. It's inevitable. Your changes, it's inevitable. The wheel and the world. It's inevitable. Destiny will happen. Faith will happen. 333. Three, three. Communication is coming in, guys. For some of you, you'll receive communication when the season is changing. For some of you, communication is happening already. And communication may lead into the new season. But your Divine Masculine is changing and they're completing cycles. They're shaking things up. Some of your Divine Masculines have receive some sudden shock, some sudden information that's changing their life. That's changing their life. That's breaking them free from heartache and pain so they can experience true love, that they can experience the sun, happiness, joy, so they can reap their rewards. Again, thank you. Some of you guys, some of you divine feminines, may be pregnant some of you 
may already have children some of you will become pregnant but it's also signifying growth between you and the divine masculine because you're the empress you're becoming the empress and they're right behind you they're right behind you they're seeing you as this empress they're holding on to you not letting go not letting go because you're precious to them you help them to change so much and they're coming in with an offer guys they're coming in with an offer for some of them they may try to hold back they may try to hold back but if they try to hold back that tower card that's God intervening God's going to push them so they make the right choice, they make the right move. And when God intervenes, when God changes things, you'll wish you have done it yourself. You wish you would have made those changes on your own. Because God is not going to pick and choose what to change or what not to change or how fast to push you or how slow or whatever, he's just going to snap his fingers. And what should happen will happen. So you got to make that decision. Divine Masculines, you have to make that decision. The same way you were holding on to things that weren't good for you. And it keeps tearing apart, but you kept on holding to it. Holding on to it. Because you were comfortable and you didn't want to let go. You didn't want to move. Until God finally snapped his fingers and said, I'm tired of your bullshit, divine masculine. Let go. And you weren't happy. You weren't happy when those changes started to happen. That's why you ended up here and you ended up with the five of cups. Because you refuse to follow your intuition, you refuse to follow the signs that you're receiving, the synchronicities you're getting, you're seeing numbers, you're seeing signs, you're hearing your divine feminine's name, you're seeing pictures of them, you're seeing people who look like them, you're seeing things that they love, things that you can use to say it's significant to your divine feminine their birthdays, the number of their apartment. You're seeing the 111s, 222s, 1111s, but you're still holding back. You're still holding back because you refuse to believe. Mm, well, that's your problem, buddy. Let God take control, my friend. <laughs> Let God take control. The more you fight against it, Divine Masculine, is the harder it's going to be for you. The Divine Feminine already went through their transformation. Your Divine Feminines, their relationships were already broken up. They already went through their heartache and pain with their past partners. With their jobs that they were holding on to that they should have let go off of. They've already released those things. And their life is easier now. Now they are the queen of pentacles. Now their finances are in order. Because they released what was being torn apart. They released it. Trusting in God that, hey God, I'm seeing these signs. I'm seeing these synchronicities. They're coming from you. I know you said that this person is meant to be with me. And I'm trusting that. So I'm letting go of this person. I'm letting go of the things that are falling apart. And I'm going to trust you to bring everything together. And what happened when the Divine Feminine does that? Now God is in control of the Divine Feminine's life. So now God is able to put the Divine Feminine on the path that she should have been on. Because God already knows your life. God, God's already planning your life out. And his plans for you are to prosper you, not to harm you. 
So when God is sending you in a direction, don't hold back. He already knows best for you. <laughs> he already knows best for you. And that's for you to be with your divine feminine. You know you're in love with your divine feminine. Your divine feminine knows that you're in love with them. And they are in love with you. It's just for you to make the right decision. Those decisions you have been making in your past only led to sorrow. It's time to make a change in your life and do the right thing. What's going on here, Romance Angels, please? What's going on with these divine masculines, please? Past life relationship. If I, oh my God, look. <laughs> okay, I take it out. <laughs> Divine Masculines, you know you're feeling it. This is a past life connection. There, the connection between you and your Divine Feminine is too strong. It's too strong to just be somebody random. It's too strong. You know there's something different. And that's because you're meant to be together. I'm only bringing the message, guys. I'm only bringing the message. You're deceiving yourself, Divine Masculines. <laughs> You're deceiving yourselves. You will be together again. Divine Feminines, you and your Divine Masculine will be together again. Because this is true love. And they're going to figure it out. Because they are in love with you. They are just scared to move forward. To be hurt again. They don't want to be hurt again divine feminine. They don't want to be hurt again. They are going to come towards you. Being happy. Playful. Change. Person. Because they are broken free. They are no longer trapping themselves. Keeping themselves stuck. They are going to make those wish. They are going to take that leap of faith. And they're going to come towards you. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Some of you guys, oh, 4222. Two, two. Some of you guys may have this reunion with your divine masculine around the holidays. They're learning to love themselves. And they're going to be putting in the effort. They're going to be putting in the effort. What are these divine masculines bringing in, please? What are these divine masculines bringing in, please? What can we expect from these divine masculines, please? Stability, structure, enlightenment, joy, peace, happiness. Some of you guys may be seeing 919. That may be a significant number to somebody as well. They have found the key. They have found the answers. New doors are opening because they have closed doors. As I said, your divine masculines are on their way to you. They have conquered their dark side. Things are balanced within them. This is your lover coming towards you. Maybe somebody younger than you are. Hell, it's both of them. Younger than you are, older than you are. There's a lot of excitement within these divine masculines. We did see that playfulness and that sun, the joy. Expect a visit from these divine masculines. They're coming to see you. Because you're their wish fulfillment. You may be seeing one, one, two. Or 11, 11. They're coming towards you to reap their rewards, Divine Feminine. Nine of Pentacles. The reward, the Ace of Pentacles that was offered to them. They know it's a gift from God. Now they're coming back for their reward. Their reward is the Divine Feminine. Excuse me, they're coming in with an offer, guys. You can count on that. You guys may be meeting up somewhere. Well, they are coming to see you. 
They are coming to see you. Because once again, guys, they have gained mental clarity. And again, signifying that some of them may be older than you are and divine feminine. For others, you're older than these divine masculines. But there's going to be peace and harmony between you two. 20, 30, closing out cycle, jumping by 10. No longer being trapped. They're free. Their mind is healthy. Their heart is healthy. Their soul is healthy and reflecting yours. There's a big change in these divine masculines. They have made the right choices. Now they're overcoming those barriers. 51, 21, I just... They're overcoming those barriers, guys. They're coming to your home. Wow, I love it. They may bring an offer here, an offer of stability. See, they're purging. No more conflict. They're coming in with that offer of stability. And they're, they are seeing signs and synchronicities, guys. Look, there they are. They are seeing signs and synchronicities in regards to you. Okay, let's, let's get some messages from God here using my God deck. This is my deck, guys. Work on me, Twin Flame Oracle. When you need to find out what in me should I change? What's going on around me? What are my wounds? What do I need to heal? What some of the messages from my masculine that I should know and from God. This is the deck for you. Let's see. Give me some messages here for the divine masculine, please. Stand strong for both of us and get rid of jealousy. Some of us divine feminines may have this jealousy issue inside that we need to get rid of. Your divine masculine will also have that same, that same energy inside. And hear their message. Stand strong because that's what you're supposed to be doing. Stand strong being the emperor. Being the emperor. They got to get out of that negative itch issue. Get out of it. I thank God for you every day. So they are thinking about you, Divine Feminine. As I said, they know that you're the one that's meant for them. There you go. Breaking away from tradition. They're no longer remaining in those situations that are keeping them down. That's where people are saying, Oh, you got to remain here because you did this, you did that, you're supposed to. That's how it is. Grieving is meant to be short-lived, so they're no longer going to be sticking in that Five of Cups energy and the Five of Pentacles energy. Because they're not getting what they want, what they desire. They're losing the love of their life, so they're going to be standing on their own two feet now. To resolve things, to change things, to heal things between you and them. Songs and music uplift me. So these divine masculines here, thank you very much. You and them may connect through music. You saw 12 and 21 reflecting each other. You guys may connect through music. So you may love music, both of you. And they hear songs that remind them of you. Songs that a divine feminine may normally be singing. They're hearing that. And when they hear that, they feel renewed. They feel happy again. Give me some messages for the Divine Feminine here, please. I know who I am. See? There you are, Divine Feminine. You are that Empress. You are that Queen of Pentacles. You need to balance your energy, Divine Feminine. When you balance your energy... It reflects on your divine masculine and they in turn balance their energy it starts from you it all starts from you divine feminine to have faith is to trust 
to trust is to believe. To believe is to achieve. So Divine Feminine, have faith that this connection will come back together. Trust in God that it will work. When you trust in God and believe that He will bring you what He said He will bring you, then you will have your blessings. Because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. You all should know what that means. Your love life is about to improve. That's both of you guys. Because your person is coming in towards you. Put that ego aside, divine feminines, divine masculines. Put that ego aside and move forward. Do what's best for you. You keep holding back because you're, you're remembering the past hurt that you went through with your divine feminine. The things you said to your divine feminine, things you did. But you got to put that ego aside. Or else you will never know the possibilities that await you. Trust me, Divine Masculine, if your Divine Feminine truly loves you, when you come back around, they'll understand. They will understand. As long as there's an apology. All is well, Archangel Jeremy. Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. See that Divine Masculine? As I said to you before, everything is happening the way it was supposed to. When you're looking back at things, you're realizing that that's why that, that, that situation was falling apart. And you see how things are lining up. Nurture, Archangel Gabriel. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. So some of you Divine Masculines may have children also. But take care of your children, Divine Masculines. Whether they're your, they're your children or not. They see you as father. They see you as mother. Take care of them. Love them. Because they will love you back. Because of what you're doing for them. And in return, that energy is going to fall on you and you're going to feed that happiness. The same happiness you're providing to them is going to reflect on you. Thank you very much. God is awesome. <laughs> Prioritize Archangel Metatron. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. And clear cognizance, Archangel Uriel. Pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. And sensitivity, Archangel Haniel. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. Divine Masculines, honor yourself and your feelings. You're being pushed to move forward. Honor your feelings and yourself teaching and learning and beloved one so you're being helped with this situation follow the signs and synchronicities that you're getting some of you divine masculines may be teachers some of you feminines may be teachers but everything is working out the way it's supposed to hold on to the blessings that you were promised divine masculine and Divine Feminine, keep focusing on your future. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Have a wonderful evening, good morning, good afternoon, good twilight, whatever time it is where you are. Let go and let God. And don't forget to click the next video to watch your next message on here. Love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Let go and let God, everyone. Love you all.